Welcome back, algebra students. We are going to spend another day solving multi-step inequalities. We already did this, but uh, we can now that we've built up some of our skills, we can handle a little bit more stuff that's going to happen in some of these problems. <clears throat> so I have this warm-up problem. I would suggest that you pause the video right now, try the problem, and then check it out with my answer. Or you can work along with me as I'm doing it. Remember, I like to move the smaller variable. That avoids having a negative in front of a variable that way. So I'm going to subtract my 2x. I will also change that to adding a negative 5. So I'm going to have 4x plus a negative 5, or we could have just left minus 5, is less than 1. So I would add 5 to both sides. And I get that 4x is less than 6. And don't freak out right now just because that's going to be a fraction. It's okay. We would want to simplify that. We would want that to be 3 over 2. Or you could write it as 1 and a half or 1.5. If they asked you to graph this, they didn't. But if they had asked you to graph, you could have had, so this is really 1 and a half. Here's 1. Here's 2. Here's 1 and a half or 3 over 2. That would be an open circle because it's not equal. And we're shading to the left. So instead of doing extra practice problems today, we're just going to do some problems right from your, your actual practice problems, your worksheet that we would do today. I would just be doing these in a notebook. Just number them so you know which ones you've done when you come back to it later. So this is the second problem on the worksheet. I want you to keep in mind which variable is smaller. Noticing the negative in front of the 3x. 3x is smaller than 5x, but a negative 3x is even smaller than that. So to get rid of subtracting 3x or a negative 3x, I would add 3x to both sides. So I'm going to have the 10 is greater than or equal to 2x plus 26. Now I would want to get rid of the 26. So I have a negative 16 is greater than or equal to 2x. But I don't want 2x, I just want x. Let's divide by 2. Now, if we were face-to-face -face in class, right now I would say, all right, trick question, do we flip the inequality? I already wrote it down because we're dividing. And the answer is no. Dividing by a positive 2 does not make us flip that inequality. Also, the negative in front of the 16 does not make us flip the inequality either. It's the 2 that would determine if we're going to flip it or not. So this is just a negative 8. Now, to finish this up, before I would want to finish, you know, have my final answer, I would want the x first. I would want the negative 8 over here. And then notice that the alligator is trying to eat the negative 8. Should still be trying to eat the negative 8. Okay? Number seven from the worksheet, we have some distribution, and we have to be really careful because what we're distributing is actually a negative three, not just a positive three. And I would even change that to be plus a negative one. And then here again, trick question, I would ask in class, can I just do this eight minus three or eight plus a negative three and get a five? We're talking about right here. And the answer is no, because the 8 has nothing to do with the distribution. So make sure that you're just distributing that negative 3. So I'll still have this 8. That's going to be a negative 12x. And then negative 3 times a negative 1 is positive 3. This time I only have x's on just this one side. I can clean this up and, and make this a little easier. I like to put my variable first. I would have 8 plus 3 is 11. And then to get rid of adding 11, I would subtract 11. Or add a negative 11. So I have negative 12x is less than or equal to negative 60. When I divide by this negative 12, that's the thing that's going to flip my sign. So I'm going to get that x is now greater than or equal to Negative divided by negative is positive, and 60 divided by 12 is 
Bora. Here's number 10 from the worksheet. <clears throat> and again, I really worry about the distribution that's just a subtraction right here. Keep in mind what that really is. I know that I can put a one in front of that parenthesis, and then I would do a keep change change. So that's really a negative one that's going to distribute. I would change that subtraction, and I would sneak a one in front of that T. So I have 14 plus negative one times 9T is going to be a negative 9T. Negative one times a negative two is positive two. Negative 1t plus 30. So we're back to variables on both sides of the inequality. But let's clean up the left-hand side. So I've got negative 9t. When I add those two together, I get plus 16. Now, think about this carefully. Which variable is smaller? Negative 9t or negative 1t? Negative 9 is smaller. So I would add... 9t. That avoids having any negative in front of my variable that, I'll, that I would have to um, divide by later. 16 is greater than or equal to 8t plus 30. When I get rid of my 30, that's going to give me 8t right there. 16 minus 30, or 16 plus a negative 30, would be negative 14. And divide by 8 would give me that t on the right-hand side. This I would want to clean up. That's going to be negative, if I would just simplify the fraction, 7 over 4, or negative 1 and 3 fourths or negative 1.75, and I want the variable to be first. So I would have t, notice how the, the alligator is trying to eat the number, is less than or equal to negative 7 fourths. One more problem for number 13. Again, I have subtractions in here that concern me. This one, I can just do a keep change change. But this is really a 1, and then I'm going to make it a negative 1 that's going to distribute. So I have 35t plus negative 28 plus negative 2 plus a negative 15t is less than 60. So again, all my variables are on one side this time. When I combine all of my t's, 35 and negative 15 would give me 20t. Negative 28 and negative 2 would be a negative 30. Now just getting the t by itself, I would add 30. So 20t is less than 90. And dividing by 20, t is less than, I could divide both of those by 10, which is just really going to get rid of the zeros, 9 over 2, or 4.5, or 4.5, however you want to write that. Um, all of those mean the same thing. But I don't have to flip the sign, and I don't have to move the variable first, because it was already on the left-hand side. So today... We've got this worksheet 9.5. It is a riddle kind of a worksheet. It says, did you hear about it? And then you fill in the riddle as you go. Um, again, checking your work and, and showing your work very carefully is way more important than getting the answer to the riddle. Please don't bother with just Googling the answer to the riddle. Do the work. Ask if you have any questions. There's an answer key already attached in Schoology. And when you're all done, take the formative quiz in Schoology. Let me know if you have any questions.